All right, guys, just uh, out here in the local hill. Oh, nice views. I thought this is a good place just to chat about um, running in the snow and ice. So we've had a big drop of snow here, and I've heard a lot of people talk about um, being worried about going out in the snow and ice. And there's a couple of things you can do. You can buy um, like micro spikes. Catula micro spikes are a good brand, or you can get cheap ones from like your your local supermarket. Um, or Amazon or alternatively what I like to do especially for the kind of snow we get here in the UK it's usually not that much it's usually like a thin layer of snow and a bit of ice so at the bottom of my shoes here I've got some screws all around the edges and on the uh, the parts of the tread that stick out and it, this is a great way just to get a really good bit of grip on the, the icy surfaces and on the thin snow and I like to think of it as um, like four wheel drive, you know, your your crampons and your micro spikes are great, especially for the worst conditions, go up in the mountains and stuff. So if you were to head up into the, up into the mountains there, you definitely need something a bit more robust. But they're more like snow change, you know, they're more like snow change, you've got to put them on, they're quite cumbersome. Some, if you get on the roads, they're going to probably slow you down a bit and a bit of weight there as well. With these, barely even notice that they're there so they're a great tool and when it snows like this as well and it's nice and deep it's a really great training effect because it trains your mind first of all so any excuse we can get to get out of doing a run or our training when we don't feel like it our mind will use and if you want to achieve anything in life worth achieving you have to have discipline you have to have constant motivation discipline and sacrifice so you have to be willing to sacrifice a bit of comfort and this is one great way to do this because you don't have an excuse then so you can't use it as an excuse to get out there secondly it's a great physical training effect so when you're running through the, the steep snow you have to lift your knee high and a, and a high knee lift is really a good part of, of running technique as well uh, many runners tend to flick their heels back which is which is okay it's, a, it's good as well but you need to have a bit of knee lift as well it really helps to activate the posterior chain the glutes all the good parts you know so so that's it guys um hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel if you want more uh tips like this and yeah i'll catch you in the next video guys peace out get out there car come in did a bit of filming Hey guys, should have probably mentioned, down off the hill now, this is the kind of ideal terrain for these screws. Um, you can run on the, the icy bits like this, and then on the road, it's good as well, you see. So it's like dual purpose, four wheel drive, you don't have to take your spikes on and off. Um, but I should have mentioned the types of screws that you should probably use are... Uh, if you can get hex head sheet metal screws, they're the best. I actually do just have ordinary flat head screws in these shoes, so they're not quite as grippy, especially when the snow ice gets a bit thicker, but I find these are great for a really thin layer of ice. Like if you've got that kind of where it's rained and you've got like a sheet ice, these are great. So there you go guys, off the hill, sun's coming out, might snow again later, who knows. Peace out, catch you all later. Like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff, you know, and uh, get out there. Make the world a better place. Boom!